In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the body mounted door weather strip seal on this Toyota Tacoma. Let's get started. There are four screws holding this panel on. I'm going to take them out, fill up said screwdriver, remove all four, and then we can pull the panel up. Okay, with those out of the way, you should be able to just lift up on this. It still has a little, a few clips here, but there it is. Now to remove this, you just grab onto it. This one's pretty stuck, so I'm gonna use a trim tool to help me out, but basically just pry it off. Once you get it off, peel it away all the way around. This panel should just pop out of place. You can also just you know, peel the seal off. Just like that. And there it is. Just to make things easier, I'm going to pull this panel off, this kick panel. All you have to do to do that is just pull straight back on it. It should unclip. There we go. Once it unclips, you can just slide it and pull it aside. And now we can start laying down our seal. This seal is one piece and it's glued together, so really it's, it still does have a seam. And you need to keep that in mind because the seam needs to go on the bottom just in case it leaks ever. It's not going to leak inside the vehicle if it's at the bottom, or at least it's less likely to leak. It'll just kind of let the water run down, whereas if it's at the top, it can leak internally. Having said that, just start pressing the seal down. You need to make sure that it bites onto the, this lip here, this edge. And really, if you just tap it with your hand, it should lock in pretty tight, as you can see. Uh, so at this point, you just run around the entire perimeter and tap it in place. Around the curves here, around the edges, you want to make sure that you push it down into place so that it's not kind of cutting the, uh, the corner short. That way, it's actually following the curvature of the A-pillar and, you know, in the back. And right around the dashboard here, make sure that it is seated in to uh, the, its area. Uh, it will touch the dash, that's normal. As you get closer to the end here, you may notice that it bunches up. Well, that usually means that it needs to be stretched out in one area or another. And what I'm going to do to do that is I'm just going to undo it a little bit and then kind of just walk it around until it is completely seated. Eventually, just like that, it'll seat into place evenly all the way around. To put this kick panel back, there's a hook at the front and two tabs on the back. The two tabs on the back here go into these two clips and the one at the front you'll see it kind of has like a, a hole that it hooks into. So slide it on. As long as you keep it parallel, it should kind of slide into place by itself. Tap it in and it should lock into place. Now we can put the bottom uh, trim piece on and put the trim piece back on the bottom. Every screw hole has a uh, little, two little fingers on the bottom. They have to slide into their corresponding hole. So if it doesn't line up and seat properly like this, don't force it. It is likely not completely lined up, so you will break them. Once it sits down flush like this, put all the screws in and of course then tighten them up.
when tightening these, don't go more than about an eighth of a turn after they bought them out. They screw into plastic and you will strip them out. And there you have it. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.